Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be ending the confusion of my brand. A new slide has been made by slide, I mean presentation, which took me hours to make non-stop. I don't even remember how many hours I put into this thing. So, yeah, hours. <laughs> well, okay, well, I think it's, yes. Okay, so, why did you just, for me, since, <laughs> yeah, buddy bloopers, why do I sit sit and do something until it is complete? I do not know. I when I start something I do it until it is finished. I do not I don't know why that is. I sit and do the work until it is complete. This goes for my artwork as well, not just uh, presentations for my YouTube. And that is why I said hours, but that was non-stop. I am just one of those people who are a perfectionist and a person who does the work until it is complete. If, and I mean when, if this was for school, I would wait until the last minute and then grind it out. If it's not for school it's a complete different story so yeah i have no idea why that it was like that uh, then again i hated school did not enjoy it i felt looking back at school brain dead you're around people who are not enlightened and you're just Eh. It, it, it could kill less about school. I don't know what it's like in a university or a college, but before that, you're around brain dead people like zombies. Well, why I said that was. I'm completely off topic, but I need to say this because if I don't, I will forget about it. Okay, so me and my ex was joking about how the physical, the real world, meaning the people you work with, you walk around next to Neo in the stores and whatever, those people are usually what? Christians who follow the Bible and the US. I uh, don't know what it's like overseas, but chances are you're a Christian and even more so, chances are you care about celebrities, the pop culture, what makeup should I wear, what dress should I wear, do I want to look like trash, like ghetto folk who don't, who could care less about what they look like? Uh, I don't know. Like, does this have a bad repu- they have a bad reputation. That's why it's kind of stuck in my head that they gain banners, just look like trash because the pants are to the waist and whatever. Uh, and uh, what I saw in middle school is just, it's all bad. So, knowing what I know now, 
from the media, the mainstream, it's all trash, and the brain dead. And me and my ex was joking that, oh, those zombies, because they're like lifeless and they have no soul. They'll, they'll, if only asleep, they have no idea that they are in the matrix and they, they do not know about ghosts. Most of these people do not even believe in ghosts. Most of the people were taught that anything outside the Bible is evil. I was parented to believe that everything outside the Bible was evil. Magic symbols, everything. Pagans, witches, Wiccans, all of it related to the occult is said to be evil which includes paganism and wicca. If it's outside the dirt, it is the occult. Not really true. From what I have found out from my own research, but that was a childhood of being taught that everything outside the Bible is evil. So, it makes you wonder how many people are going to wake up and know that they were taught wrong. Do you happen to just wake up magically one day and say, you know what, everyone was wrong? It makes you wonder what actually goes on, and that actually is what I wrote earlier, but I left out major parts. Um, again, this is just completely off topic, so I'm going to actually end that though, and on to the presentation at hand, but I needed to say that. Actually, since we are on the same subject, I can actually just read, since I am on the same subject of my post that I wrote earlier, I will just read it because I landed into it. I was not planning on that. I was planning on reading the spirit presentation of what is my rant, and instead my brain was like, Let's talk about the zombies in the world who don't know that they are zombies. Let me load it. Okay, this was written two hours ago, so it's still floating in my brain. Okay, I showed a meme that says, quote, they, let me just do this, they took our knowledge of spirituality gave us a false religion and tricked us into believing our own knowledge was evil. And by they, it can mean your parents, their forefathers, basically history, anyone in the government, politics, the the church, religion, the anyone in a high ranking person in society, which again would be, well, anyone who has great power in the media will therefore tell us things that are not true. And this trend has been going on 
for eons, centuries. This is nothing new. We are now beginning to wake up, and the mainstream is changing from nonsense back into spirituality. Let that sink in. A person told me that you are your own master. Your spirit will guide you. That is, my argument is this: What if you are not enlightened and was taught your entire life that anything outside the church was evil, because it was the occult? What happens then? Can your spirit lead you to become enlightened, or will you be doomed, doomed to become brainwashed and brain dead? I have a a good example of this. I do not. I want to say how I know this, but I will just say this. I was told I was supposed to be baptized, that I was supposed to go to church on a daily, well, every Sunday. However, when I was born, they could not baptize me because. And、uh, that's just th- there was a reason why that never happened, and I am grateful. Why? I have this family member who was born before me, who was baptized, probably, who was born into the Bible, born into the church because all of our family was Christians. Christians, what happened to her? What ev- what happens to everyone? He was not awake. He was trapped in the matrix and do not even know. Who do not believe in aliens? Who do not believe in ghosts or the paranormal, or anything spirituality for that matter? I feel her energy and. It pains me to say this. She is not awake. She doesn't know about spirituality. She is tied, chained to the deserts, and it pains me to even acknowledge that. Because that could have been me. That. Could have been me if I was baptized, went to church as a small child. Even I, I cannot express that. To this day, her spirit never woke up. She never woke up. That could have been me. How did I wake up, stumbling through? I don't even, I don't even know how it happened. It just did. But I was not baptized, and I think that's how it happened for me. Everyone has their own awakening story. How they woke up. For me, it was because I was not baptized, and I go I googled about Satan. However, I discovered that people view him as a symbol, a a symbol, not a real being, but a a symbol. 
and uh, the, the symbol from what I remember is strength or um, uh, the, the Lucifer story, why he stood up uh, to, to God and why he was cast out. And the whole give people that forbidden fruit to gain knowledge. I questioned, okay, why is that apple? Why is that knowledge forbidden? Then it hit me after I woke up. Because of what happened in slavery, if you could not read, could not write, you had no power. Let that sink in. You had no power because you could not read or write. So you were just um, powerless. You had no... It's hard to describe it because... Because we, we are taught how to read and write, how to basically think and operate. And it's just like, okay, if it's just hard to imagine what that would be like. Knowledge is power. When you know things, you gain power. You begin to see falseness. And that is why knowledge is, was forbidden and still is forbidden in certain areas or countries outside the U.S. Knowledge is power. With it, we can overthrow people. Overthrow society and make a new one. Uh, but again, these are just how I see the world. History teaches us where we were and where we are headed. That has never been more true. And this is, goes um, hand in hand with with what I am about to read. But they they gave us a false deity. The Bible to me is nothing but lies. Read it closely and you will see things for yourself. An example on how you would react is, oh my god, what the fuck? Me, I have never read any Bible stories. None. However, being in the society that we are, it is thrown at you anyways. Certain stories. Like, for instance, how does this even happen? Okay. You know the story of the Virgin Mary, okay? Think about that. She has never had mated with anyone before. Ends up with a kid. How? See, how do you have been with a guy? There is no way, no way that you can have a kid without the male genes inside. Somehow, she winds up with a kid being a virgin. How does that make any sense? It 
It really doesn't make any sense. That is good, one good example. But also, I could go further. She shut herself up from love. It is a blasphemy to a certain goddess. I read this in the Vision and the Voice. I do not remember what chapter because that was over 30. However, that book to me is true. Because I do not resonate with the Bible. Anyone who quotes it is brain dead, is a zombie. That is the book of lies and they cannot help but to quote it over and over and over again. And therefore is the enemy of the Lima. Be why are why if they quote the book brain you're not working why are they the enemy when they quote nothing but the bible the lemma means well well in turn refers to spirit refers to the soul if you're quoting that book you're not really speaking from your soul it says there is so many things wrong with the bible that none of it sits well with me for starters they kicked out all the pantheons and made it into one god which makes no sense saying all the pantheons are evil wicca paganism all of it outside the desserts it's evil and from multiple gods to just one it makes no sense you, you it makes absolutely no sense to me i was always uh, poly uh with the deities i always felt a connection to why the war multiple why not just one it, one just does not sit, one does not sit well with me i do not resonate with having just one god it doesn't make sense to me because uh, take for instance the egyptian pantheon they had a god for practically everything if in my understanding from what i've read so we had a, a deity for uh mothers given birth for, for like production um we had a cat goddess who i forget what she represented um you had segment who is the, a field or loved sees a balance between anger a war god uh, a war goddess and a healer as uh, he's a mixed uh, a mixer of that um but for me she represents yes she can be very angry people feel her or you can be blessed by her and get healing from or other things i have uh felt and read um you had Thoth, who has the emerald tablets uh, that he recorded, uh, who gave us knowledge. Um, we have 
Patal, who created Fane's uh, structures, I believe. We have Set, who is a different god, but I forget his bull. Um, you you have Anub Anubis guiding souls to the afterlife, or was that? Oh, there's like so many that is just complicated to even remember everything and to just discuss. Basically, you have a, a deity for everything. How can you go from having multiple to just one? It doesn't make any sense. But that is, again, just my opinion. And what else do doesn't make sense? I'm just going to Google. Let's see what I can find out. Um, I don't. Okay, he was one. I f don't know the, the full story, but I have heard of it. Okay, God made the world in seven days. Nothing came before him, and yet it created everything after. How does that make any sense? Science. Come on. The Big Bang Theory? How the universe came to be? Magma? Dinosaurs? Um... Also does not support... Uh, same marriage. Like, love? Like... Lesbian marrying a lesbian, they love each other, and all love should be treated equal, all love should be cherished. And apparently, that is not the case with the Bible. Yes, it's kind of a weird territory to explain, uh, to uh, not explain, but just to give your point of view, and it, it just, why? It, it makes you question it. Oh, here's one. Um, my religion makes no sense and does not help me, therefore I pursue it. I'm kind of legit because... Oh, I know what makes no sense. Leaving it in God's hands. You have medicine, right? That you can take or go to the hospital. And yet, these... Valision nuts say, no, if it's my time to go, let it be, because that is what God wants. Why? That makes absolutely no sense. You have tools to save yourself, and yet you refuse, saying if God lets you live, you will. No. I mean, the list goes on. But those are just from what I have encountered from everything. Uh, 
Now on to the actual project. 30 minutes late, but... Okay. Born into a society that... That hides everything. Hides what? Well, aliens visited this planet aeons ago, left stuff here for us to discover, and yet our government has lied about aliens do not exist. Even the Zerts says aliens do not exist. And then people say, we are the only living thing in the cosmos. How can that be? You have billions and billions of planets that could be habitable, or we have not discovered yet, or we did discover it, but it is hide it, hidden from us. Because the truth would ensue mass panic, or I don't even know. This is mass panic comes to mind. Well, think. Why are you? Yeah. Okay. No. I'm trying to zoom in and it's not letting me. I lost. Okay. Sift through the garbage of glamour, celebrities, pop culture, rap, and whatever else that the media loves to distract you away from spirit. Born into the Matrix, born into heel pressure, most will follow the wrong crowd without realizing it. Trapped in a world while soul no longer is mainstream. Slowly, the spirit is coming back into the mainstream. Society just sucks. Corporate sucks. Working a job you hate, but you do it anyways just to pay the bills and get food. Why work for bullies? and other people who don't like you when you can change jobs and find the one you are comfortable with or work for yourself and do what you love. Why put up with the stress? Become stress-free. We lost knowledge about the spirit, the astral, the deities, and who knows what else. We are slowly getting that all back and more, shaping our earth with the real truth. Who cares about politics, religion, and other things that no longer serve the soul? It is your job in this life to wake up, to wake back up, but at the same time, it is so damn hard to do so with all this peer pressure and media shaping you as you grow up. You have to wade through 
the junk. Slowly, success. Slowly, society is mainstreaming the spirit more and more. That is all I can say, really. Each of us see the world we live in different. My opinion: religion no longer serves me. Pop culture no longer serves me. Fashion serves me, but not to the extreme. For example, I no longer care about what styles are in and looking hip. Same thing with makeup. A good example to put what I am trying to say into layman words is. This example: What happens when your parents taught you that anything outside of Christ and the Church are evil? What then? How can you decide for yourself that certain things are not evil when you were told over and over and over again that they were in the first place? To be evil, do you just magically wake up one day and know that they are not evil? Do you have a person to show you that it is not evil? Did a person talk to you and help you decide for yourself that it is not evil? So many questions for you to think upon. This conversation has been happening between me and my ex multiple times. However, he took it to the extreme. To the extreme, I mean, why people get divorced, why they put up their kids for adoption, or deal with child support, or even outside of the U.S., why people are forced to marry someone because of their religion. Wait, I take that one back because that is a thing, and he had a person want out of the marriage, but had a kid, and was trying to get to the U.S. through him, but it fell through.、Uh, a forced marriage. Based because of the bill, Valnison. But he went to the extreme to say these people are unhappy, and you can tell by the facial expressions, and yet they do not have the power or authority to do anything about it. He also talked about why people stare at you, like, "Oh, you're with that lady; you should be with me," and other useless things. I thank you for your time, and I regret dragging this post out so long. I regret dragging it all out. However, at the same time, it needed to be said. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again. One last thing before I forget: most people 
nowadays, if you're in the gaming community and you are a pro, all you care about is winning matches in PvP. And you will rage quit if you do not get your way. So there are toxic people everywhere. But again, those people are not asleep. Those people are asleep. They do not care about their soul or anything for that matter except winning. And if they do not get the way, they rage quit and cry. And that is now everything that I needed to say on this subject. I thank you for your time and until we meet again. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for watching and reaching the end. If you are not subscribed, please do so to not miss out on new content. And hit that like button to show your support for the channel. Leave a comment down below. I love interacting with my friends.